Hey guys, uh, it's me, Ford Falcon. And first off, I'd just like to say that this is a uh, this is not a video to uh, to basically uh, persuade or advertise candy companies, you know, like this, anything from Hershey's, Mars, Incorporated, uh, oh, I don't know where else they all come from, Nestle, Pennsylvania, wherever they come from. This is not a video to advertise or to sell you any of these products. This is just an informative video for Halloween educational purposes or whatever. But anyway, uh, our house, we do a lot of decorations every year. And we have, for the first time in, uh, as long as I can remember, 12 years since we lived in Idaho, we're making some, uh, making some goodie bags here. Just uh, went to the dollar store and got like $10 worth of 25 in a pack. So we got 250 bags in here of full of candy, delicious candy. So, you know, we got sick and tired of... Uh, uh, having to have 10 people go in front of our house, or excuse me, up by our front door, stand there and hold their hands open like this, basically like that, and we would have to give each kid two or three pieces, and you know, that takes a while, you know, and then if you drop the candy and you gotta pick it up, you look embarrassed and all that kind of stuff, but this year we're gonna cheat our way through, we're gonna, we're gonna just give them little goodie bags, and these are pretty good goodie bags too, they're like, I mean, this one's got, I'm not, well, I don't want to really show you because maybe I get in trouble for advertising, but this one's got basically an M&M, a Hershey's, well, actually, no, that's a, uh, that's a Reese's, but it's got Whoppers in there, and M&M's, or some Dum Dum Pops. Basically, I mean, we've got, like, Twix, you know, all the good candies, I mean, I mean each kid's getting, you know, in each little tiny goodie bag, you know, eight pieces of candy. We got that that whole box full of them. There's that whole box of them there. We got this whole entire cauldron full of them. We gotta go buy another bag tomorrow, I think. 150 more pieces to fill this in, so we've got reserve candy in case we run out, because I'm planning on it, thanks to the economy. So we have enough, we're gonna plan enough for about 350 kids at our house this year. Now I think that might be a little bit too much, but we'll see because Ah, I'm not sure. I mean, every year it's different. Like, like last year, I think we got quite a bit. The first year or two, uh, not so much. Of course, you know, we just moved here like four years ago. We're moving again next year, so. I mean, things change. Economy changes, you know. But this year, we're planning on getting quite a bit, I hope. But hopefully, it's easy just to chuck some goodie bags into the kids' ba bags. Or pillowcases, uh, trick-or-treat bags, whatever. We got these ones. I call them surprise bags because you actually can't see what's in them. But no, don't be in this. Don't be misinformed. There's actually good candy in them. I mean, we only get like the best brands. I mean, Kit Kat, Snickers, Hershey's, um, Milky Way. I love Milky Way. Crunches. Those are pretty good too. Reese's. I love. Those are like the best ones. A lot of Reese's, but I mean, you take a bag and you throw in some Laffy Taffy, a sucker, some Dum Dum Pops. I mean, what we average about. Uh, five to eight pieces per bag. We started getting kind of low at the end, so hopefully, God, we don't get that many kids because they won't be getting the very good candy. But usually the, the younger kids come first at our house. It's mostly, actually, last year we got mostly younger ones, but we're hoping that the younger ones will get the good candy. The, <laughs> the sorry teenagers. You guys could just get stuck with these almond joys because, uh, yeah, we're, we're, the, the icky, crappy candy comes last. Sorry. Yeah, we made do with what we had. We ran out. But yeah, we gotta get some stuff done. Fill up this cauldron, buy some more candy. Hopefully I don't eat it all. Stuff's flipping good. And uh, hope, hope to God we don't have anyone uh, try to take any of our candy. Actually, last year, I was supposed to mention this earlier, but last year we had two girls, I'd say, oh, eight, nine. They came up and started taking a handful of our cauldron of candy. And I was right there because, of course, I'm standing behind the curtain, scaring kids out on our porch. And my mom opens the door, and we're telling them, you know, put that back, you know. And they seem to th they they thought it was funny because they were laughing, but uh, they, I think they shut qu pretty quickly. They shut up pretty quick when they uh, saw us. They freaked out. So we caught those two, but it's pretty bad that they're gonna try to steal your candy. I mean, literally, they took they freaking were taking handfuls, shoving it in their pockets or. Sweatshirt pockets, whatever bag. I don't know what they had. I can't remember that far. Wish I had on footage. I'd put it on YouTube if I could. But anyway, yep. This is all our candy, and I just want to make this quick little five-minute video. And happy Halloween, and be safe trick or treating.